I've had this piece of oak for about uh, <laughs> going on about eight years. It's a crotch piece. It's got some great uh, spalting in it. Let's do it! All right, so the last color I did for the orange did not look, when it got hard, it looked more like orange juice. And that was this Vivid Orange by Black Diamond. Well, I'm gonna put some neon orange and see if I can get a better look. And then I'll put some of this in it to make it a more solid orange instead of the fluorescentist. I'm going to mix up just a little bit more. All right, I got the blank out and it looks kind of cool. Uh, this is the color that I was actually going for. That was the second pour I did. I had to finish this pour. Uh, but I think it's going to look kind of cool with the two different colors going into each other. Kind of blends that witness line to make it look like it's something I did on purpose. So let's go ahead and get this all sanded up on top and get it on the lathe. I got a few inclusions in here. Here's some wormholes. But this one goes way in there, so I'm gonna have to fill that. And then you got this one over here that I'm gonna have to fill. I'm gonna fill some of them with some Starbond thick. But this one right here is too big. I'm gonna have to fill that with uh, some five minute epoxy.
All right, let's be transparent in this. You guys are going to see it. Look right there. That piece of wood that I put in the center, it shifted more to the outside. So you got this one also that shifted. So those are actually going to stay in the walls. But man, that's beautiful. A fall bowl, Halloween, autumn. Ah, oh, beautiful. You can see where those cracks were at. The the darker red went in there. It looks pretty cool. Right in there. Right in there. Alright, so here I am filling small holes with, uh, I mixed up some medium and some orange to fill up some small holes. And I've noticed these piece, these things right here, these uh, where warm holes have gotten in there and this like sawdust packed in there. And instead of digging that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize them with some thin CA glue from Starbond. You just let that soak in and dry.